So you'll have been asked to uh, accept the recording. Gosh. Okay. So um, yeah. So this is just a call about our this our diet and digestion, our diet and nutrition course that will be starting in March. I think I've given all the dates on the email, and uh, we just wanted to come on and um, answer some questions about it. Just before the others come on, just to say that uh, the self-care course, I think most of you have done that already, but for anyone that hasn't done it, that's starting again on the, well, the first uh, online chat will be on the 31st of January. But what, because we have that course, course already done and recorded, we're going to send the videos out in advance. So anybody booking in for that will get the first two videos straight away. And then on the 31st of January, they'll meet up with Dr. Tuchelli at seven o'clock. And then there'll be a Q&A session and just go over you know, all the details that were in those particular two lectures. Dr. Chitelli will just give a summary of it and just make sure that everybody understands what was talked about, that, that was spoken about. And then there'll be a Q&A. And then the next week, you'll get the next two lessons and, and so on until you have the 12 lectures done. And then there is a residential weekend in Dublin. Uh, for the practical part of that course as well. So anybody that's on the call that hasn't done that course, um, you're still there's still time to book in, even though it's getting pretty close to the, they they have the opportunity to watch the two lectures be before the thirty first, but there still is time to to book into that course, you know. Uh, but I think I think from this, a lot of the people that are on this call, I'm just looking at the names here, have probably already done that course, you know. So. Um, so let's just see. I'm wondering, has Dr. Brennan forgotten about it? It's not like him to be. Uh, it's not like him to be late. Maybe I'll just give him a quick call. Um, yeah. No, we'll, we'll, we'll just, maybe we'll just wait a minute or two. Or, or it's not really that. Mm -hmm. uh, Okay, well, has anyone any general questions that they want to sh that, that they want to ask anyway about the upcoming course? And myself and, and Dr. Uh, Chitrali will do our, our best to answer them. Uh, let's see. Okay, Bernie sends her about it and says she will catch the replay. Okay, so what, what I'd like everybody to do that's on the call, let's see, there's 56 people on the call. If you've already done course one, the, the uh, self-care course, just type yes into the chat box. I just want to get an idea of how many people have, have done our, our course one. So that's what I'm saying. If you've already done the self-care course, just type yes into the into the chat box. Yeah, most of the faces look familiar. Okay, so there's a good few yeses coming in. Uh, and I'm going to rephrase the question. If you haven't done the course, uh, well, yeah, that's it's all in the chat box, please. If you haven't done the course, if you haven't done self the self care course, the first one under our course that we finished last year, just type. Oh, Eleanor's there. Yeah. Okay. 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 Great. Well, both of these courses, we do intend repeating them anyway. Um, we, we, we've we already run one um, self-care course and we, we're starting a repeat of that uh, on the 31st of January. But we hope to repeat that again as we get more and more people interested in Ayurveda. We hope to run that on a fairly regular basis. And this course as well, which involves a lot about diet and nutrition and cooking as well. This is a very, very practical course. We hope to repeat this course as well so there will be opportunities for people who haven't done the self-care course if they can't do it this time or they're not interested in doing it this time there will be opportunities for for them to do it at a later stage you know and um, hopefully we'll run it again sometime this year uh, as soon as we can get enough people to to do it you know no but already have a 300 hour certification that's from maria okay uh, where is that from, Maria? Just stick in. It'd be interesting to see where you did that. Just put that in there. Regina, don't book flights yet. Okay, I've asked everybody to hold off booking flights until the end of January for this. For now, not for the self care course, for this new course. 
because I want to make sure we get the numbers, you know. So I just have I've just asked people to hold off on, on booking flights until until the end of January, you know. So just wait another. That's not very far away, and I'll have a much better idea by tomorrow, really, you know. And um, so let's see if Doctor Brennan is on. Yeah, uh, there. Yeah. How you doing? Hi, all. How you doing? Yeah, great, great. Good, good. good. Now we're just missing Doctor Richvinder. Lovely to see all our old friends. Yeah, yeah. I just uh, um asked the question about how many people have done our first course and quite a quite a lot of people on the call have done our first course even though there's a few that have haven't and right. as i said that's been we're starting that again on the 31st but like we hope to rerun this course as well these will be two standard courses obviously the very first course everybody should do is the free online one the seven lesson free online one and um and um that, I mean, that's a fantastic foundation course. It's an absolutely brilliant course. When it's free, you register for it and you get the videos. But then after that, I suppose it depends on your interest. If you if a huge interest in cooking and nutrition, then this is the course to do really. Uh, or if you if you have you know you just want to follow a path, it's probably better to do the first self care course first because that has a huge amount of knowledge in, in it about looking after yourself and then move from there on to this course, you know. So I think, Dr. Brennan, maybe you're best placed to give a synopsis, uh, just give an overall guideline of what this course will involve about the eight lectures and the two practical weekends. So if, if you'd like to say, like, because you, you did a lot of work on structure in this course, and uh, if, if you'd like to say a few words at the start about the... Um, you know, what's involved in the course and why we're including the things that we're including in it and what people can expect to get from the course. You say that and then maybe Dr. Richvinder will be on by then and uh, then we can just open it up to a q and a so, Richvinder is there, no? He's there, is she? Okay, well, let's yeah. say it. Uh, hi, Raj. Just, yeah, I know. Give me five minutes while Dr. Brennan is talking. Okay, no problem. no problem. No problem. No problem. Okay, okay, Don, if you'd like to go ahead and just give an, an overview of this course and, and then we'll have a Q&A, you know. Well, it's lovely to have everybody with us. And uh, the first course was uh, a, a very great joy, really, and uh, a very profound um, course, really, in self-care. This, this, this course coming up also is titled self-care and this time it's in nutrition and digestion and the purpose on these courses was to give the deepest insights from Ayurveda's point of view into how we manage ourselves. Uh, originally our intention was to structure these as the basis for going on and getting some training in, in actually being a help to others in terms of their health and using Ayurveda in a professional way. Um, but Noel has probably mentioned that there's another opportunity that has come up for people who are wishing to train to be professionals. But it was great that we had it in mind because it caused us to raise the game and uh, make sure that the courses were of a, of a, of a high standard. Um, in Ayurveda, if you want to help anybody, the first training is to help yourself. And the, the first chapters in the ancient texts of Ayurveda are all about health, which is quite a different training than what people get doing medicine, which is all about disease. And very, very little, very little, in fact, about how to be healthy, despite the fact that there's such an evidence base now for all the grass great strategies for health that Ayurveda thousands of years ago had brought to light. That in truth, these, these same strategies nowadays get the name of lifestyle medicine, which is still not actually integrated in practice in medicine at all. And it's why, of course, perhaps you, but many people turn to Ayurveda because they want to know how to be healthy. And uh, Ayurveda is really excellent at, at bringing out all those uh, principles that give insights into what it is each of us individually wants to do or needs to do to be healthier. Um, so the, the nutrition and digestion course will look at nutrition and digestion from our 
Western perspective and from the scientific point of view as to, you know, what's in our diet in terms of the nutrition we take in, in terms of calories and in terms of um, proteins and, and carbohydrates and fats and vitamins and minerals and, and phyto ingredients and, and um, how medicine our science would see them in our body and how they, they, how we use them to structure our physiology. And also taking the, the Western scientific perspective on digestion. And it's quite limited point of view of the uh, breakdown of these ingredients to simple uh, uh, nutrients that can be absorbed and, and used in our body. And uh, that really just gives a, a good contrast to the different point of view that um, Ayurveda has, where it sees nutrition not merely in terms of specific nutrients, but in terms of how they impact our physiology. You know, impact our physiology as we digest them, and impact our physiology post digestion. So the influence of the foods in terms of not just the joy of eating, but in terms of the specific effects on our health. And um, it, it, it is not just looking at the nutrients, but looking at the one who's eating the nutrients. So we have to understand the different natures and their different needs and how those needs are met by specific um, diets. Um, and also how it is that, you know, different foods have different specific effects. Um, you know, the same tasting foods with the same qualities and the same influence as we digest and after digest may also have a specific effect. Um, and uh, that, that makes foods quite um, in themselves of almost a medicinal value. And that is not sufficient because it's not just about the foods, it's about the one who's eating the foods and how in fact what's more significant is our own abilities to uh, take on board and absorb and use these nutrients. And the whole concept of digestion in Ayurveda is way beyond what happens in the gut and uh, way beyond the breakdown to amino acids and, and uh, fatty acids and, and uh, carbohydrate, um, small carbohydrate molecules. It goes beyond the actual processes in the gut to the absorption of those nutrients and to then how in the body we will take those nutrients and transform them again and again and again to uh, nourish specific aspects of our physiology and not just you know our physiology but the effects of of these foods uh, as we transform them in terms of our own thought, thinking and feeling and you know how how food impacts us in all aspects not merely physical so all of the possibilities you need to someone hang on all of these possibilities um the course will be going into from a theoretical point of view um and then the theory is really going to be built around practical strategies because we will be having eight lectures, two lectures for each of the great voyages that I'm honored to uh, work with and from whom I learn a lot. And they will be together structuring these very practical weekends and already sitting with them talking about them has me enthused. I'm really looking forward to it um, because, for example, we have four days and each day could initially be de dealing with, you know, various aspects of, of organizing your kitchen and 
getting to know in detail more spices, and then thinking about the kaffa in terms of the kaffa needs and kaffa foods and what specific diets and recipes are useful. But it, it's also in terms of the kaffa phase of life and what to be thinking about at that time of life and the kaffa season. What should be eating in the winter? What should you be now eating this time of the year, which is kaffa time? And uh, of course, each of our vajas are from a different part of India. And I'm challenging them to come up each with their own home dishes, you know, from different parts of India. That could be very interesting. Um, and there, there will be, they will be in competition. We have a bit of competition between the three vajas. It'd be wonderful. Who can do the best dish? Um, <laughs> So, uh, um, I don't know what I'm going to come up with, black puddings, maybe. Um, <laughs> what do we do for Irish? Can you cook them? <laughs> I never cooked a black pudding. <laughs> so, 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 I mean, the second day, just uh, ideas we're playing with now are, you know, again, the concept of more strategies in the kitchen, more spices, different uh, time of life, pit, um, time of, of life, what do we, we eat, what, what recipes be good for that, for what recipes are good for the summer, you know, and then another day could be for about kaffa, about vata, and, you know, vata time of life, elders, and their lives, you know, uh, so like that, uh, things that you could pick up about, you know, nourishing babies, you know, uh, or, or, or teenagers. Uh, um, and, and so um, also, you know, home remedies, things that you could do in the kitchen for specific common uh, illnesses, uh, like when you're off your food and have a flu and someone you love is down with, with um, a virus, you know, how do you nourish them back? But, you know, the word nourish is wonderful because Ayurveda understands that uh, the whole processes of transformation of food into our physiology, mind, feelings, into, into who and what we are and all done in a balanced way. It's, it's, it's all nurturing, nourishing. And, and so this, this course, I think, has great potential to be a practical significance and transformational for how you nourish yourself and your family for, for the rest of your life. And, you know, it's one thing to have a couple of recipes, but it's, it's another thing to have that perspective, insight and uh, awareness from the Vajas of the real significance of what we do in terms of nourishing ourselves and our loved ones uh, through food. So I hope that gives an idea of, I wouldn't be worried if you don't have all the great background because the, the, the voyages are so deep in their knowledge. You will find it very, um, um, I, I think, it, uh, dense in information, each of the lectures that they come up with, but it doesn't matter because you can look at those lectures again and again, and each topic will be so well covered that even if you're coming in anew, I think you'll you'll get a lot out of this course. And those who have uh, been doing our self care course previously know repetition is the way that Ayurveda gets so effortlessly integrated into our thinking and into our lifestyle. And that the information that we get in practice is very helpful to motivate us to make the changes that are so beneficial for our well-being. And um, so the self-care course, nutrition and digestion, will follow on in that sense from all the lifestyle advices and changes that you have made. It'll just add so much more depth and profundity. So. I hope that gives a perspective and insight and it would be lovely to have you on board and uh, it's great for us to um, be forced to
put together these courses because there's just the world of good in terms of our revision and our integration of deeper levels of Ayurveda. So I should hand over. Okay, Don, thank you very much. I think that's a, a great uh, synopsis of the thing. Also, I just wanted to say in relation to the repetition, I mean, I, I've said it again and again, that that's the way we want knowledge to go in, is not through stress or strain or getting upset because it's just too much information, just gently just taking the information in. And you can be sure that a lot of what we've covered in our free seven lesson course, in the self-care course, is going to be covered again all the principles about vata pitta kapha because understanding the three doshas and you know their effects on your body and how they cause disease and what diseases are associated with the different doshas and then like everything in nature is creating balance or imbalance because everything is made out of earth air fire water and space in different quantities and we covered some of that in the last course the different tastes which of the elements are involved in them and we'll be going back over that again so you're going to know you know what foods are good for putting vata into balance what foods will put vata out of that balance again we'll cover things like well what diseases are associated with an imbalance in vata and you know how do we bring that back into balance so there'll be a lot of repetition but we're not making any apologies for that because that's the way to learn the information and i think any of you that did the self-care course realized that there was a huge amount of information in that but then you have access to the videos so you can go over the videos again and again and just you know keep looking at them and gradually the information just goes in by osmosis and this way of learning means that when you have it learned then you have it learned it's not like you cram to learn it and you'll forget it you know within a month or two when you take information in in a very gentle way in a very repetitive way then you you tend to remember it you know now i know a few of the questions are going to come up about this and i'm going to hand over to doctor in a second just to say a few words about the the cookery aspect but before we do that i want to cover some of the things that i absolutely know are going to come up okay so the first question that men, many people are going to be asked is do we need to come on the practical weekends and i would say for this course is there's even more of a, a requirement to come on the practical weekends if you can because we're going to be doing cookery demonstrations on that on that course and we can capture them on video but you can't capture smells and you can't you know capture the texture and the feeling and all of those things so where possible we definitely definitely encourage people to come on the practical weekends okay now we're not excluding people from coming if they can't make the practical weekends but we're strongly advising people that they do we will record it we have done many many cookery courses during covid on zoom you know using the phone and everything like that and they, they've worked out okay but it's it's better if you can actually be there for the weekends but as i said we're not ruling people out if you can't make it the same with the self-care course we did we did a section of it on zoom i think we maybe had 20 or 30 people on the zoom section but i think the people who were there probably you know it, it's better it's a it's a more immersive experience if you're actually there so try come along if you can on the weekends uh and if you can't, but you still want to do the course, well, then that's fine. You, you can do the course. Someone asked when it starts. That's in the email, in the newsletter I sent out. So the first lecture is going to be on Tuesday, the 21st of March, which I should have known this before, but that's a very auspicious day. So that's our uh, spring equinox is Tuesday, the 21st of March. So that'll be our first lecture. And then every Tuesday and, and Thursday for the eight lectures. And the first practical weekend will be the 1st and 2nd of April. And the second practical weekend will be the 22nd and the 23rd of April. We do not have a venue for those practical weekends yet. We've been offered a place by one of the previous course participants that can cater for up to 40 people. We don't have 40 people booked in yet. My feeling is we'll probably end up with more. And we have a few options for venues. We'll try and make it as easy as possible for people to get to. And the fact that we did hosting the last time, maybe if people... <coughs> coming from the UK may end up staying with the same hosts as they did before, but we can put people in touch with people if necessary, you know? So, but there will be uh, cookery demonstrations. There will be, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. I'm going to have to get a drink of water. Dr. Edgevinder, I'm going to hand over to you. If you'd like to yes. just say a few mm -hmm. words about the, the, I'm just going to get a glass of water of a tickly throat. And if you just want to talk about the, anything you want to talk about really, but maybe the practical weekends as well, you know, thanks. I want to sing a song. <laughs> Hello, everyone. That's even Thanks better, right? That's even better. Uh, hopefully, you're using the knowledge. <laughs> hopefully, you're using the knowledge that you learn. I 
I uh, heard from one of the lady yesterday during consultation that she was she was like if she hasn't done the course don't know where she will be so that was great to hear that people are using the knowledge so that was mostly like lifestyle bit a bit of diet part we covered so this course is now diet as we talk all the time food is medicine so this is like you're going to learn about food so that's the course is all about uh, as dr brennan has explained because we call it ayurveda nutrition and digestion and so you'll be learning all the different aspects of digestion now like uh, we say it's a big emphasis in ayurvedic medicine is on the digestion so uh, we have done some work on the digestion bit in the first course as well but i think this is a little bit where you're looking into dhatus as the salmon layer of the tissues and we'll be covering each and individual tissue for example rasa and rakta which is uh, the plasma and the blood so what happened when there is imbalance and what foods are good for it and how to kind of correct the imbalance through the food and then uh, it, as dr brennan said there will be a lot of demonstration and We'll see if we can cover or probably some general uh, ailments like uh, as is, it will be more kind of oriented around self care. So we did a bit of cold and flu and stuff like that. So just going a bit more detail into the food. So some one of the Vija Dr. Chitrali is covering with the children about the babies and the teenagers. So we'll see uh, common issues around babies and children and then the adults and the menopause women and the old age. So we will be kind of dividing the course as the age group as well. So diet according to the age and then seven layer of the tissues. What happened when the, for example, osteoporosis, that's one of the tissue and how Ayurveda diet can help with that and then we will see if we can do a bit of diet protocols like diet after detox diet during fasting and uh, so kind of covering a bit of that as well and then we will try to do um, some good recipes like the basic uh, foundation try to keep the cooking simple because uh, i know the time is a big issue so we'll see how to cook meal uh, faster and if you have more time uh, like a Thanksgiving or that kind of uh, more heavier meal. So we will try to cover that. So hopefully we'll get a good venue to explore the cooking bit. So I think it'll be fun. Um, like uh, we did a lot of listening. So the practical days will take a lot of question answers. We will uh, uh, see how people are doing your own opinions because these kinds of course evolve more when people are involved as well. So we will throw you as well. So your opinion, what you do and, and where do you want to see the more balance and uh, what you expect from us to be to coming for the second weekend because there's a big gap between first and second week weekend. So that give plenty of time to practice what you have learned on the first weekend and then give your suggestion, give your feedback, give your like the way you did for the first course. And then we come again for the second weekend then. So I think this is how the course is going to evolve. <laughs> OK, yeah, I think there's some good points there, Rajvinder. One of them being that I think when we started off on the first course, I mean, I think we ended up with something which was much more than we imagined we would end up with, you know, in, in yeah. fairness. I mean, I think that we didn't really think starting off that the amount of work or the amount of knowledge that would actually go into that first course. And so it, it is a course, a kind of an organic thing. And, you know, as you say, it does, the, you know, there is a reaction with the people who are on the weekend and you kind of get a sense of what they need to know and what they want to know. And that drew all that knowledge out of us as well, or out of you really, you know? So I think the same thing. I mean, I would say if the second course is half as good as the first course, it'll be a brilliant course, you know? <laughs> but that's only me saying it, you know? So Dr. Chitelli, maybe, I don't know, if there's anything really needs to be added if you have anything you'd like to add dr chatelli you can you can before uh, we take questions yeah hello everyone so dr brennan and uh, dr raj has explained very well and just one more thing to add into that like we'll be even explaining about the garden herbs how to uh, grow a few herbs in your own garden and use it so that will be a very interesting and a fun way to know about it along with all the recipes and of course all the das, dhatus, doshas, everything will be covered along with uh, even the ojas, ama and uh, teja. So this is all will be a beautiful uh, structured course. So hope to see you all there. Okay, yeah. Dr. Chitelli, thank you. And I hope all the people who did the first course recognize all those words, Ojas and Ama and uh, yeah. <laughs> Ages, you know, so hopefully 
Yeah, so it will. It'll be a great, great course. Now, just a few practical things. You can start asking your questions there if there is any questions in the chat box. The fee for the course is 450 euro. It can be paid in a full amount or it can be paid in three installments. If you're thinking of doing the course but haven't booked it yet and are not ready to book it yet, just please drop me an email to say that you intend booking it. Uh, I mean, we'll take bookings up until the the you know the 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 20th of march really but i want to have an idea obviously for getting the room and everything like that about exactly how many people are are going to do the course so if you're on this call and you intend doing the course even though you're not ready to book it yet please send me an email saying you're 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 definitely going to go ahead we won't hold you to it but only send the email if you're 99 percent certain you are going to go ahead you know but i always you know i realize that things can happen that can prevent people from doing it but just let me know if you're if you're going to do it, you know, uh, as I say, the venue is not decided yet, but obviously we have to have a place where we can do uh, cooking. We have a few places in mind, but if anybody out there has a place on the north side near the airport in, in, in that area where they feel that we, we could uh, we could rent a place, then that would be great. Is it on Zoom weekly? Uh, Patricia, it's Tuesdays and Thursdays uh, on Zoom for the for the online lectures. Uh, and all of that is in the email, in the newsletter that, that that we sent out, you know. Someone said about, one is thinking about doing the Slovenia course. Will the content of this course overlap with the content of that course? Thank you, Deirdre. Hopefully it will, Deirdre. Hopefully the content of all the courses will overlap. And it's a brilliant idea that they overlap. I have done that uh, Slovenia course. I'm going to be sending out a newsletter about that soon. It's a wonderful, wonderful course. So the people who are serious about becoming practitioners, this is the course to do, the Slovenia course, the university, the alma mater course. It, like it's a university certification. It's uh, You can get all the details. I sent out the links to that course and there's going to be a webinar about it on February the 3rd. It's not our webinar. I, I will be a participant in that webinar. I'm not sure if I'll be asked to speak or not. If I am, I will speak. If I'm not, I won't. Uh, and uh, so I don't know if a recording of that webinar will go out. It's out of my control. But if you're interested in that course, uh, definitely come on that call. Dr. Bardana is absolutely fantastic, you know. So, um, but no, yeah. I, I think there won't be any demonstration of cooking and no very no there won't be any demonstration of cooking i i did that course there was no cookery demonstration or anything yeah. like that you know think, that's I more a too, practice sorry i think i think both of you are right i think that you know noel is pointing out the fact that there will be the same principles involved that will be covered in our course and will be covered in the in the alma after university course um but the, the, this course will be different emphasis uh and as rick Winder points out it will be more on the practical basis of getting you into the kitchen and washing your hands and getting cooking. <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah. No. No. Doctor Ridgeman is very, very good to point that out. There, there was no cookery. I don't know if they've planned to do that, but there was no cookery demonstration or anything like that on the. On the but I, the I course, understand you know? talking to you. I think it was more about the patient protocol. Yeah, absolutely. About, more yeah. about the patient protocols and how to use diet to treat people. Herbs, you yeah. know, tikshna yeah. agni and how to, you know, amapachana and all of these things were covered. But from the practical end of actually cooking and all that. Uh, then no, that was not covered. So in that respect, they're very different courses. But obviously, any Ayurveda course you're going to be going over, you know, there's basics that are going to be covered in all of those courses, you know. Um, Alison says, will the venue be close to the accommodation uh, or to accommodation? Uh, um, yeah, there, I mean, it'll be in, it'll be... Uh, I don't know what do you mean your accommodation or whatever, but yeah, there will be accommodation. There'll be there'll be people close by. Like the same with the last time. I'm not too sure how close people were to the that that stayed that that, that got hosting, but there will be hotels within the area wherever they wherever that will be, and there'll probably be Airbnbs. And if you're You'd staying like coming, trying to do near airports if possible, yeah, that's the priority. Do you have to do the first self-care course to do this course? As I've done, no, you don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. I mean, I think it's a great idea to do that course. I'm not saying you have to do it first. You could do it. You could do it another time. You know, at some stage, it's a it's a completely different course than this one. Completely different course than this one. But it's uh, but it's not a necessity in order to do this course. This is a standalone course in exactly the same way as the self care course is a standalone course as well. But uh, my advice is to do them all. But you you don't have to have done it in order to do this one. You know. 
I think Noah's advice to do them all is 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 great advice simply because you know the the self care course was in relation to you know your your understanding of your own nature and your own lifestyle and your own um, strategies for healing and practical uh, things that that you are motivated to get started on during the course, which you then notice the difference with. But that was a very general overview, whereas this is specific to what is ultimately the most fundamental aspect of your health and your healing, which is your, your capacity to transform everything you take in, in terms of your nourishment, into your, your health. And I think Jitrali very nicely pointed out some of the topics that you know ama and tejas and ojas because these are so sublime such wonderful concepts i mean we all have a, we all have talk so what are diets that we can have which are cleansing that are helping our physiology and it's natural processes of of clearing the the debris <laughs> we've accumulated um so how do we handle that in terms of practical strategies in the kitchen. And on the other hand, the OJAS is, is the physiology that's not nourished. It functions to its highest capacity where we start to awaken to a greater reality as to exactly who we are. And what we are is, is that sublime being of consciousness, which structures the whole universe and connects us all. And as our health grows, we actually transform in terms of our experience of our own nature and of life. And that's what we're really ultimately wanting to do in this life. Tejas is the flame, the fire of transformation, which is sublimely transforming in terms of our, our spiritual awakening and our, our feelings and our thoughts is transforming the nourishment so that we get the best out of it. So, I mean, there are very subtle aspects to the concept of nourishment, which Ayurveda is very inclusive of, and hopefully this course can give a, a, a sort of a, a perspective or, a, or an, a, a, a glimpse of these more deep realities as well. Yeah, and the person has done the seven lesson course. So I think they have a great foundation for doing this course if they've done the seven lesson course. Again, it's not even necessary to have done the seven lesson course, but it's the, the free online seven lesson course. But I would say anybody that hasn't done the self-care course or hasn't done the seven lesson course and is interested in doing this course, they have time to do those seven lessons before this course starts because it will them, give them a great, great foundation an understanding of Ayurveda. So that free online course is just go to our website and click under services and you register for it there and it'll send you out the videos, you know. Patricia O'Hannon says, is the self-care course once or twice weekly? The self-care course is uh, once a week, Patricia, for a call with Dr. Tertrali and you have two videos to watch each week and the notes and all of that. So that course is already recorded. So you watch that in your own time. So we send you out the videos that you watch in your own time. And then you uh, come on uh, and meet with Dr. Tutelli for a Q&A. Q now, that's the self-care course. I don't want to get people too confused. This is not the diet, dietetics and nutrition course that we're talking about now, okay? So, uh, and I have sent out separate emails about that self-care course, Patricia. So just have a look at those new newsletters and it's all explained in there, you know? Uh, let's see. Given you did, I thought you might be best positioned to address the... Okay, yeah, no, sorry, I missed the start of that, start of that thing. Yeah, okay, actually, I don't think there will be too many questions because it's kind of self-explanatory anyway what this course is about, and I think most of the people on the call have a have a good knowledge of Ayurveda anyway. So all I would ask you to do uh, is to let me know, either book it, go online, you have the links for booking it, I've sent them out, and either go ahead and book it if you're, if you're keen to do it, or else just drop me an email to say that you're strongly thinking of doing it. So I, at least I have an idea of the numbers and then can, uh, you know, uh, go about getting the premises where we need to do the actual course um, based on the numbers that we have, you know. So, and the other thing is the Alma Mata course, I'll send out a, a newsletter about that at the weekend. And that's going to be on the 3rd of February, I think, which is a Friday, which is Friday week at six o'clock, there'll be a webinar about that. 
uh, as I say, that webinar has not been done by us. It's been done by the university. So it's, uh, but anyone, you know, anyone interested in going on to do further training or to become a practitioner should definitely consider uh, going on that webinar, you know? Okay. It's lovely, I think it's, it's lovely just striking me here because you're looking at all these wonderful pictures of people whose cameras are on and uh, all the black pictures with names that are those that are not on. Um, but what's really nice and what was very palpable in the last course is, you know, how there's just a wonderful community of beings who are ahead of the posse in that they're interested in their health and aware that the significance of their awakening in this direction and the strength and uh, the enthusiasm we, we all gain being in each other's company. Uh, and that, that was so palpable in the practice of the weekends. But it's just lovely to be on this because the, the teacher learns more than the student. There's great truth in it. And it was very invigorating for, for the, the wonderful Vijas and myself to structure and to, you know, to be with you all on the course. And it's going to be lovely to be with you again going forward, you know, on this next phase of self-care in terms of diet and nutrition, in terms of uh, awakening to the nourishing value that's possible in, in, in life. Yeah, okay. So, um, yeah, I think that's it really, you know. Uh, actually, Abigail, we've given you an outline of the two weekends, you know. So uh, Dr. Rajvinder talked about it there. We don't have a specific outline, but we, we covered roughly what, we, what we'll be doing on, on those weekends, you know. Um, so we have uh, a menu, menu for the day that you we demonstrate, and um, then as I said, we start with some. Uh, there is a homework, just like the last course. We just start with reading the homework. We'll read the homework and then take the question answers from the uh, lessons that you have done, the eight lessons, and then go through the demonstration part. So it will kind of be like that format. Okay, uh, actually, so that was breakfast, was... recipes, lunch, and dinner. That kind of menu we pick, and then. Yeah, more that. And we have quite a lot of content already done that we can show people like how to make ghee and things like that, that, you know, people can see and we can probably send out those videos beforehand anyway, you know. And Abigail, I, I was giving an outline when I was uh, talking about the various recipes and the concepts of times of life and uh, times of the year and the time, the natures of Africa and Vata, which would be covered plus the, the you know, the, the, the treatments for uh, food treatment for simple illnesses and, and home remedies that you can make in your kitchen. So those were topics that would be covered on, on those practical weekends. So that was the, the structure I was trying to outline there. Okay, everybody, that's great. I want to say a big thank you for coming on to, for tonight's talk. As I said, just drop me an email if you're if you're thinking about doing the course or I have an idea of the numbers, but you don't have to book it until probably the middle of March is really the when, when we'll cut, call off the bookings on it, you know? So that's fantastic. Thanks for the doctors for coming on and explaining the course. And uh, thank you, everybody. If you have any questions, just drop me an email, noel at ayurveda.ie about any of the courses, the self-care course. If you can't find the link for the free course, if you want to know more about this, drop me an email, noel at ayurveda.ie and I will uh, get back to you, not this evening, but I'll get back to you sometime tomorrow, you know? So... Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Bye, Thanks, Bye to everybody. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.